Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra, and this might look a little familiar to you. I've been here before, but it's usually a little colder when I come. I'm at the Gaylord at National Harbor, and this is where I bring my family every year for their ice show and all their Christmas activities. Well, summer is a great time to come as well, and I'm here to show you the summer of more. I've got a whole list of activities that I'm doing here tonight with the Gaylord, and I'm going to take you along with me. We're going to start with the heart of the hotel, and that is the guest rooms. Over the pandemic, they were able to spend $64 million to renovate each and every room. They've been redesigned, and you can see different shades of blue. That's to reflect their waterfront location on the Potomac River. A lot of golds and yellow to represent sunsets. And look, you'll see this penny motif throughout the copper color as well to kind of tie into the presidential history with their proximity to D.C. My family and I have actually stayed in the hotel before, but looking at the renovation, it's completely gorgeous. And if you wait for it, there's a surprise right around the corner. Okay, he's not really going to the bathroom, but he does keep life interesting. Now we're going to head over to their executive suite. They have over a hundred different suites that are specifically designed for family stays. This is the executive suite with a living and dining area and a large master bedroom, a king size bed. It does have a pull out sofa, plenty of room for mom and dad and the kids. We stay at a suite whenever we can. Not that we have a big family. We just need our space. The other thing that I loved about the executive suite tying into that penny motif is this beautiful artwork, which is a rainbow design with Lincoln's profile on it on one side and on the other, the American flag. Now it's off to kill a little time before dinner. So now we're gonna go down into the atrium and we are going to find some wild animals. It's kind of like Pokemon Go, but with wild animals here in the hotel. Approaching the atrium, I found something on the map, and sure enough, here's the marker. So let's see what happens. So with your phone and using augmented reality, it brings the animals to life, and you can, quote, pose next to the animals and, uh, I don't know, maybe have a little fun with it and save the photos on your phone. And I'm so mad because I realized we missed one! Next up was time in the atrium for some American tall tales and sing-along. Yeah, my family wasn't excited about singing. We're going to have a little bit of fun. My name is Aaron. And I'm Jen. And we're so excited to see all of you here so close to our nation's capital. We hope that everyone's having a good night so far. That's right. For the next few minutes, we got some songs to sing for you, some tall tales to tell. All about the beautiful country of ours. I think we should start off with one of my favorites. What do you think? This land is your land. This land is my land. This land is my land. If you've never actually stayed at any of the Gaylord properties, the Gaylord National is very similar to the rest in that it is a very open air feel, but it's completely enclosed, very bright and airy. They have several bars and restaurants on site. We grabbed a quick bite that the hotel provided us, but wait until you see where we went next, our favorite part of the day. We were told to head to Replay Lounge at the rooftop bar up on the 18th floor. So we hopped in the elevator, pressed the 18th floor, and went nowhere. Because we were in the wrong elevator. So we walked back through the lobby. There's a special entrance right when you come into the main part of the hotel. And you'll see a sign that makes it very clear that's how you get to Replay up on the 18th floor. It's an 80s themed rooftop bar that's family friendly until later in the evening when it then becomes adult only. From up here they promise Instagrammable views of the harbor and the sunset and they didn't disappoint. 
One of the things this pop-up bar is known for is their signature cocktail menu inspired by the best of the 80s films. I personally went for the talk to make goose, but my husband and son went for the over-the-top milkshakes, strawberry, and PB&J, available with and without food. After sipping on our cocktails, we went over to the 80s-themed arcade area where I decided it was time to show my kid who's boss when it comes to Pong. Only, as you can see, I kind of sucked at it because it's not like real Pong. It's like this blocky sort of game. So I didn't dominate at that, but I did dominate at pinball. I made sure he knew who was boss and that I was the pinball wizard. Lots of places to take photos, to hang out with friends, to hang out with family. But again, they promised a beautiful view of the sunset. So I went out onto the rooftop lounge to really get a look at the harbor. The weirdest thing I noticed is spiders love to hang out on that glass wall. I don't know why, up on the 18th floor. But it was worth it. I overcame my fear of spiders so I could get the beautiful view of the harbor and the Capitol Wheel. At nine o'clock each night, they have the Celebrate Summer Lights laser show in the atrium, which we missed because we were busy playing pinball. But they still have the atrium lit up every night and we walk through it for our final stop. Potomac Lights is right outside the atrium door and this is a walkthrough experience with 11 illuminated displays and twinkling lights right along the Potomac River. I thought it was surprisingly beautiful, and it was really obvious that the kids liked it too. Wrapping up our day here at the Gaylord National, the only thing that would make it better is if we were actually staying for a few days. What's great is after we spent time in replay and after we saw the laser show, we came outside to Potomac Lights and closed with one of my favorite things in National Harbor, and that is the Capitol Wheel. So if you're looking for a quick family getaway or a couple's getaway or just something kind of different and fun that's close to D.C. but not in the heart of D.C. Gaylord National is one of my favorite places to spend just a couple days of fun and summertime is a great time to explore.